as the Quit Smoking team, welcome, this is our behind the scenes. Besides our wish to talk about relationships between family members, we wanted to see how we could match the visual and the story. The images are adapting to Rebecca's mindset all along the film. Her eccentricity had to be immediately obvious through our color palettes, as well as in the dialogues. For the artistic direction, we wanted to show the strong difference between Rebecca's world and her parents. The props of the after party are really colorful and eccentric, while the house and the policeman are more realistic with blender color. We mainly drew inspiration from Alberto Mielgo's work, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, and the painting of David Hockney. All the creation process was made to keep the 2D aspect in every part of the film. That's why Sandra and I supervised the team for them to always keep the linearity and respect of artistic direction. As a rigger, my main challenge was to develop the facial rigging in a way that would allow animators to work on dialogues. I made an hybrid system with blend shapes and ribbons to fully control the deformations. I also had to work on the body rigging of the two main characters. I created modules for arm and legs in Python. My main task consisted in conveying our artistic direction from 2D to 3D. The first steps followed the pipeline as modeling, texturing and look dev. And the first important choice we made was about the lighting. We rendered pictures with washed out shades and tones so we could have the flexibility we wanted in compositing, allowing us to add the colors, exposure and saturation we were missing. As an organic modeler, my main challenge was to create 3D characters by adapting a strong 2D graphic style. I tried to fit shapes of characters to their personality. For texturing, the goal was to have a strong semi-realistic look with brush effects and painted shadows. For the hair, I did it on next gen by keeping the 2D hairstyle. The policeman character's face or body are never shown on screen as opposed to her main character, Rebecca. So we decided to use her topology. To add tension to the final scene, I had to overly equip the policemen with gear, creating realistic assets and adjusting them following the artistic direction allowed us to maintain realistic shapes through stylish rendering using marvelous, couture and abstract shapes during the blend shape. The most difficult aspect of my work was to create effects according to the strongly stylized artistic direction. Creating the R&D of this concept was time consuming, especially for the swimming pool and its unique look. Another challenge was the amount of FX to export for the entire movie. We had over 80 of them, so my focus was to make everything fast to compute, procedural, and on top of everything, quickly iterable. The main challenge for us, the two animators, was to make our styles blend in harmony. The key was to find an animation style that worked for both of us, and to share the shot to avoid lag in the following shot. As the characters engage in dialogues, we had to create references by filming the voice actors and then to film ourselves as well. As the other animator, I helped Sandra with the layout. Our film is dialogue heavy, so we chose to keep lip sync animation in certain shots. One of the hardest tasks for both of us was to get the subtle animation sequence as seamless as possible. Keeping the acting consistent was challenging as we split the sequence between us, so we frequently compiled our shots to check the rhythm and the acting. Enjoyed the after party with us. Thank you for watching. Bye! Bye.